going on legends how's everyone doing good morning good morning on my end hopefully you guys are having a good day okay let's talk about titles in final cut pro 10 and when to use each style because there's a lot going on let's go over to our titles over here and it's just that t probably the easiest to distinguish t is for title click on that to open up the browser we got a lot going on um some are more flashier than others. There's a lot of categories down here. What you can do to get a quick little preview of it is just do video skim and check each one of them out. A lot of them are animated. They kind of look like, yeah, like stats. This looks like pretty much a plugin. Um, that's a lot going on. Now there's three, in general, there's three types of titles that I use and most people use. Um, you've got a center title. This is kind of just like this. This is for when you want to do like an intro to something, whether it's the start of a film or maybe a new chapter. Did anything show up? Hello world. Yeah. Uh, there's lower thirds that show up in the bottom left, sometimes in the bottom middle. That's usually when you want to identify uh, somebody who's speaking. Um, usually it has like their name, maybe the company. And a lot of times now you see like their social media hashtag, whether like it's an Instagram or a Twitter. We're going to go ahead and create one of those in this video. And uh, title credits at the end. So you can see like it's got its own category right here. Title credits. Usually this goes at the end when you want to list actors, uh, cast, crew members, stuff like that. So how do we do it? Um, I'm going to delete that title tag I just did. Now, to me, titles are kind of like a less is more approach. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna just going to have... Let's do basic title. Now there's two ways of doing ti of adding titles to your timeline. You can just go ahead and drag it and drop it just like this. And I'm going to put it in the beginning just like that. Now, just like with anything else, you can do trim. You can do ripple trim by just grabbing it and shortening it to have a shorter duration or a longer duration to the right. Obviously, it's kind of so it's kind of self-explanatory. And then um, we're going to talk more about customizing titles in the next video and even creating our own custom title. But for the sake of this tutorial, go over here, make sure you're double clicked on the title. And I'm just going to type up here, hello world, just like that. And that's not too fancy. It gets our message across describing what our viewers are going to see in, in the video to come. Um, but let's talk about what I want to talk about is lower thirds because I use these a lot. And I really think it helps your audience identify um, what's going on in your video. So I've got lower thirds clicked on down here. And like I said, you can go ahead and just skim over it. A lot of them are a little bit more animated than others. Um, kind of with like transitions in a couple videos ago, I think there's more kind of a less is more approach to these. I don't want the title to come in and be all animated like some flash banner and completely kind of intercept or intervene the attention from the actual film. Titles to me is kind of like a B-roll. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to scroll down here and I like this title called snap left. I like, um, this one down here. It's called left under boxes. Now what I'm going to do instead of dragging and dropping, um, I'm going to go ahead and do an in and out marking on this specific clip I have right here. That is me. And I'm going to do an I on the keyboard. Uh, keyboard shortcut and then I'm going to do an O right here for ending. So this video, this portion of the video is selected. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to left right here and instead of dragging and dropping, I'm just going to push Q on the keyboard and it's going to sync to the exact time that we just created that in and out on our primary storyline. So check it out. Just like this, we will have You can always play around with it. Say that was a little bit too short. I can just grab it, pull it to the right, just like that. Now up here I would do, I might want to change around the colors, but I'm going to save that for the next video. And what do I do is I would just double click on the font and change it up. So what you're going to do is I'll say like CH and then for name, I'll do village park source or VPS for short. Now I'm not saying this is the best. We're going to talk about making titles look cleaner and more professional in the next video. But just for the time being, that's how we create titles in Final Cut Pro 10. And then credits. Um, I've never seen video credits showcase in a video that has not been at the end. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and put these at the end. And for this, I just want to do drag and drop because we have 
no other video overlay that we're putting this over. So we've got our we've got our titles right there and double click on it if it doesn't already show up. And let's go ahead up to title and we'll call this, I don't know, order of appearance or something, uh, the cast. And then over here in your inspector, just kind of play around with it. We'll say director, then I'll do tab to indent, CH Sterling. And then, hey, check this out. Not only am I the director, but I'm also the producer. Sorry. <laughs> so just like that, onward and on forth. Um, we're gonna talk more about customizing all this and giving it more professional look in the next video, but that's kind of the gist. Focus on your title tags, your lower thirds, and I mean, focus on anything, just kind of play around with it. These are the ones I don't really mess with. I think these kind of draw too much attention to a title. Uh, maybe if you're making like a slideshow or something for the family or just, I don't know. This kind of looks comic booky. Kind of cool, a lot going on. There is no right or wrong, um, but this is how you add titles to your movies in Final Cut Pro 10. Good luck with this. In the next video, we're gonna talk about adding a custom title. I'll see you over there.